students are getting a chance to share their input on the search for the new chancellor. ECU faculty members are one step closer to obtaining market rate salaries. And for the first time in four years, Pirate football won't be going to a bowl game. Thank you for tuning in to this semester's final edition of Tech TV. I'm Jessica Gribben. The committee in charge of finding the next chancellor for ECU is hoping to get a little help from students. Earlier this week, forums were hosted on campus. These were to provide an opportunity for students as well as faculty and staff to provide input on what qualities the next chancellor should have. There is currently one student on the search committee and SGA President Mark Matelovich says this isn't enough. Unfortunately, I do, I do feel like there could be more student representation, but um, I guess we'll have to suffice with what we can do now um, and just make sure that our voices are being heard. There will be a forum for local Greenville and Pitt County residents to voice their opinions on December 8th at 5 p.m. To follow all updates with the process, just search keywords Chancellor Search at theeastcarolinian.com. ECU's senior associate provost will soon head out of the office and into retirement. Austin Bunch has served in the position since 2011. He has held many roles here at the university since he began his career at ECU 16 years ago. Bunch's last day is December 30th. Chancellor's salaries in the UNC system are going up, leaving many faculty here at ECU wondering if they'll get an increase too. Staff Senate at the university have created a resolution in support for a market rate study of staff and faculty salaries. This resolution hopes to establish a pay rate for the future that takes inflation into account. The Board of Trustees approved this resolution and will be presented to the UNC Staff Assembly meeting in December. And now on to sports. The Pirates took the football field last Saturday with their season on the line. This season has been filled with injuries and close losses. Last Saturday, the Pirates dropped another close game against Cincinnati, 19-16 on Senior Day. ECU came up short to finish the season 5-7. The NCAA is inviting teams with five wins to fill bowl game spots. But ECU Athletic Director Jeff Confer said that the Pirates would decline if offered an appearance. He says ECU's efforts should be centered on positioning the Pirates for future championships. This is the final edition of Tech TV for the fall. We want to end today's show with some of the highlights of this semester. Tech TV will be back in January. Good luck with finals and we hope you have a safe winter break. Well, isn't that convenient? We want a team that will have to play UConn to segue into football that also has to play UConn this week. I wonder who writes this stuff. I wonder who writes this stuff. The city of Greenville is working to directly link two major areas within the city. It's called the 10th Street Connector Project and would connect the medical district with... A former ECU student has been charged after attempting to assault his father with a knife. Wake County deputies have charged 22-year-old Steve Franklin with assault with a deadly weapon with intent to kill. You know, they, they, uh, they need a game. And Towson is coming in here and I know Rob had his guys ready to go. All game. ECU 28-20. The Pirates will now go down to Gainesville to face the Gators in their season road opener. Thank you, Kai. East Carolina kept their momentum going behind the re-energizing play of quarterback James Summers in a 49-23 victory over Southern Methodist University. And we will get off to a running start with Cross Country. The Cross Country team will host the AAC Conference Tournament this weekend. On the women's side, look for a big performance from the Pirates superstar Carolina Rising. What has the season meant to you? This season has meant a lot to me, and it's been a time for me to really accomplish a lot of goals I set for myself across country that I haven't been able to accomplish previously. We believe that consistency is the truest measure of performance, and I think you'll see over the course of the last three years, we've proven to be a very successful program and a very consistent program. This drives me to overdo everything I do. I encourage you all to treat your education freshman year that way.